Hey, what's up? It's Tacklist, and today we're going to be looking at a tutorial on how to set uh, teams, both for players and for demons, in order to make uh, competitive multiplayer games for players and spawn in friendly and hostile demons. Now, as some ground rules, there are only four teams in the game, and there's no simple way to make more. I'm sure if one got really ambitious, there might be a way, but um, yeah, there's only four teams in the game, so that's how we're going to be working with it. So I built here just a little thing where we've got our two players, we've got two terminals that spawn two different teams of play of, of demons. Now I don't have any um, people to test online at the moment. The two players that I'm showing here to show that the two players will spawn on different teams, but it would work. So here we've got our terminal and this will spawn team team one. Friendly demons will show this symbol above their head. At least if you're on team one, they do. I haven't tested on team two yet. And we'll spawn a second set of identical demons, but these guys will all be hostile. So now our friendly demons will start targeting the hostile demons. And obviously I can't hurt my own demons, but I can hurt enemy demons. So it's really interesting to watch them fight. If only we had a bigger spawn limit, I'd say that an RTS is possible here. But you know, be hard to make an RTS when uh, both teams only have a budget of six demons. I mean, theoretically speaking, it'd be possible though. Okay, so that's the general idea. Now let's go ahead and look at how to make it because it's actually pretty simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete everything. So step one, let's look at how to assign our players as um, to be on a team. So we'll put our player down and let's make it so this guy is player one. There we go, he's player one. So when player one spawns in, we're gonna select team proxy and we're gonna pick set team. Then on the same set team node, we're gonna put team one. I'm gonna put him to team two. Just to be confusing, we're going to make player one on team two and player two on team one. Oh, come on. Darn set team node is too low. There we go. And for this one, we'll change this to player two. And team one. It's worth mentioning that here, you could also assign a team here. You could assign um, team one team two, etc. But since we're also doing multiplayer settings of player one, player two, player three, then we have to set the team separately. Since you can only assign one of these uh, custom spawn filters at a time. All right, so we have our two players. Player one is on team two and player two is on team one. So let's go ahead and add the demons. Now, simply put, if you just want a single friendly demon, we can put out our demon. And then we'll go to team and we'll pick team one, team two, whatever. So we'll put two of these guys out and put them on separate teams. There we go. So when we spawn in, and we're gonna test this really quickly, the, um, the two demons will be on enemy teams and they'll immediately attack each other or the one that's on the other team from me might attack me. It depends who pulls aggro. I'm also curious to see if no, I guess whatever your friendly um, demon is, it'll always spawn that pentagram above their head. I was kind of hoping to play it. that Team 2 got different symbols, but... Come on, demon. Win. I feel like a demon fight club game is in order now. Anyways... I'll help my guy out. Now let's look at a couple of other things really quickly that we can do with demons. Let's say that we want to spawn a demon encounter, which these are just single demons. But if we go over here to spawners, let's do a custom group encounter. So for this, we're just going to pick a bunch of... Um, possessed soldier, possessed soldier... Possessed Imp, and Possessed Sentinel. Let's do one more. Possessed Mancubus. There we go. 
So we've got our custom encounter here. Now we need something to activate it so that it starts spawning. We'll do something simple like an interactable. We'll put down our panel and on used, we will spawn this encounter in. Now to change the team of this encounter, we'll need to go to on demon spawn. Then we'll need to select our team tile again and set team, pretty much the same as the players. Then we're gonna change this to team two since that's who our player is on naturally. Now let's say that we want this panel to only be able to be used by team two. We go here and we can change the custom filter to team two. Let's go ahead and copy this, paste this. Then we're gonna change this team to team one and this panel filter to team one. There we go. Although for the sake of demonstration, I'm also gonna make another one that uh, this one, I'm gonna take the filter off. That way I can spawn in both friendly and hostile demons. Since, since I'm not on team one as player one, then I can't use this panel. Hopefully that makes mm. sense. All right, let's go ahead and test this out. Okay, so we'll go ahead and spawn these guys in. Since I didn't really adjust the proximity of the encounter, they'll kind of spawn all over the place. And then for this, I can't use it because I'm not on this team. But for this one, I can use it because there's no filter on it. This will spawn in hostile demons. So yeah, this is a tutorial that a lot of people have requested actually. I did a poll on Twitter the other day to see what tutorial people would like. And this one did win the poll. There were over a thousand, almost a thousand votes. So thank you everyone who voted on that and was uh, supporting that. Uh, yeah, so if you want, you can follow me on Twitter to kind of get what the next tutorial might be or put your vote in or have some suggestions. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys later. I'm kind of waiting for the enemy Mankey bus to die. Oh, here we go. Oh, and he's dead. Obviously, Team 1 reigns supreme. The reason for that is probably that they were spawned in first. So they got to start shooting at the uh, enemy AI before they were fully spawned in. Anyways, see you guys later.